Hey, show, and let's talk about two different naming situations. I guess that's the best way to put it. We'll start off in the NFL. Washington finally has a name for their team for this season. Now, Chris, you've seen this, right? Yes. The Washington football team is what they will be known as in the 2020 season. There's no logos. There's no nothing. It's just, Matt said the Washington foreskins. Look, I I kind of like it. I like the uniform. I like what they're doing. It's not bad. And they kind of stole. Uh, they not stole. They kind of ripped off your your brownies, right? Yeah, they're just gonna go no logo. Here's what I think. I'm very public about this. I think we should make. You can't steal the Browns look, okay? By just having no logo. The Browns have no logo because they have no real mascot. The Cleveland Browns were named after the first owner of the Browns, all right? So, you want to call yourself the, the, the you know, the Washington Snyders? Be my guest, okay? <laughs> that That's fine. But but just going no logo? No, 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 no. We need to go. What's an old school Tecmo Bowl Super Bowl? Like when you didn't have the rights to like real teams? Yeah. They just had like a general, like a blue helmet with a football on it as the logo? I think I think you can keep the color scheme, but you get and I'm talking like super pixelated old nineties Nintendo looking logo of a just a, a generic football or a football player with a football helmet <laughs> on your helmet. That's all you get. I'd be in with it. I'd like that. That's what you get. I think you like the way the unis look because they basically stole Alabama's look of the number and the stripe. It's an Alabama uniform, but with, you know, gold on it instead of white well i would have liked it had it had it not even had the number on there like I, I it looks like penn state it looks like an old classic uniform you know no bells and whistles just very clean the teams so. that have that look have that look and that's fine the teams that don't don't need to go to it yeah you may be right if if they were to call themselves the reds would that be offensive i mean no it just depends you know I mean, I we've got the Cincinnati. I'm sure Reds, they're going to piss somebody off, no matter what they pick. To be honest with you, so probably right. You're probably right. I, this is better than the Warriors. We're probably going to get the Warriors. That's the problem. Oh, God, I say it's the problem. If you if you like that and you're the Washington fan, then whatever, it's up to you. Yeah. But that I I think that's what we're going to end up getting. But I mean, that may be right. That's what he wanted to call his AFL team back in the day, and he actually used to own the rights to that. So, well, there you go. That, so, that I mean that, but I'm trying to get inside the the mind of a of an idiot who just happens to be a billionaire. I mean, this is what I can't figure out is how many people in this country have so much damn money. And I used to think to be that rich, you have to be smart. And the older I get, I realize not only are they not smart, the money just makes it just it's a cheat code for them, and so yeah. they're actually just substantially dumber than everybody yeah, else. It enables them to be dumber. Oh, I mean, that's all it is. So, it, especially, uh, I will say this. You have to be smart at something. That doesn't mean that you were smart at I don't know that you everything. do. I think Daddy can hand you something uh, that he was smart at. That's a very valid point. And I have no idea how Snyder made his money, and I, I really don't care. So, 